Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also check out our Patreon page. I'll put a link below. On Patreon, you're going to get the ability to get exclusive content, reviews that haven't been released yet, and also a discount code for 15% off of everything in our online web store. Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I bought a massive audio file collection. This was from a gentleman who watches the YouTube channel who happens to live here in town. This is about 515 records, mostly audio file LPs. There was a couple boxes of 45s, but they were pretty crappy, so I'm not even going to show those here. They were record store day and stuff of that nature that, you know, nobody cares about. But the LPs were killer. It's mostly classic records, mobile fidelity. It's an amazing collection, but check it out. It was all really well categorized. He sent me the Discogs info. I was able to check out all the records, values. He had the conditions. This was a real easy collection. These are the kind of collections, though, guys, you got to really, like, pay up for. When a guy's got everything inputted in Discogs, he knows exactly what he has. I mean, it is what it is. You just have to be ready to foot the cash. Otherwise, you don't get collections like this. But let's check it out. Mostly audiophile records, but there's some nice real originals in here. He's a big Tom Waits fan. Look at that Black Rider, original Black Rider. Real nice original Pearl Jam 10. Pink Floyd, Masters of Rock. Anthology, Tom Waits. Tons of Tom Waits. Early years, random Pink Floyd Japanese final cut. Mo, uh, Half Speed Master, Wish You Were Here, Classic Vinyl, Roy Orbison, Roy Orbison Greatest Hits. Now he has an ORG of this, and I forget what pressing that is. Some classic records, Roy Orbison, RTI Moondance, I believe these were all analog cut. All these RTI uh, Van Morrison. Astro Weeks. This is an original Tupelo Honey. This actually comes from a local record store there here in town. You can see $2.99. A lot of this stuff had the original receipts in it. And you could tell a lot of this was bought mid 2000s to like maybe 2005 to 2015. This is a reissue of, uh, let's see, Graham Parsons, ORG Nirvana. Some older REM, Mobile Fidelity, more uh, analog Tom Waits. Three copies of Small Change, that's an original. Now this is actually relatively recent. When did this come out? 2019? 2016. They've been doing a run of these uh, replacement titles. Tim. Let's see, REM. I'm going to guess is the clear vinyl stone stuff. This is an ORG Nirvana, never mind. Some stones, MoFi stones. This I uh, bought for 20 bucks in 2010. Fantastic release, Steely Dan, Speaker's Corner, Classic Records, Bruce Springsteen. Let's see, this Nebraska. Remastered from the original tape sources, not familiar with that. Master Sound, Springsteen. What is this? Oh, real nice Cisco, part like a wheel. Some more Ronset, another of the earlier REM titles. Some more Tom Waits. This clean Tom Waits, simply vinyl Tom Waits. Some originals, some reissues, the analog rhino reissues, bought from another record store here in the valley. Multiple copies. Real gone. There's a reissue of Blue Valentine, Foreign Affairs. I think this is the uh, another copy of this. Closing time. Original copy of this was bought. 2007 for 20 bucks. Good little investment. I think it probably goes for twice that now. Another one of the analog cuts. Real nice uh, Cisco. 
first thing I did, of course, you know, I did the video on this. Take it out. Let's see the Cisco. Like most Cisco's, the reason I tell you to buy it in the video, buy it used, as you can see, it has the lines on there. Now, that may or may not be audible. If it's audible, it's not the worst thing in the world. But like I mentioned in the uh, video, you definitely want to check that. It is noticeable. I'll put that away later. Let's see. So that's pretty nice. Actually, I think the 45 RPM of that's still in print. These nice analog coal trains. This is uh, 33 version of my favorite things. This is the original version of this that was done by Kusutech. And I believe this was pressed at RTI. The subsequent version was done. Blue train was done. Pressed at QRP. Classic records on Quiex. Let's see if I can fix this. This is probably just a crummy reissue. Kustatek 45 RPM standard coal train. Barnett Coleman. A lot of music matters in this, but mostly 45 RPMs. Some audiophile Nat King Cole stuff. Quiex, or excuse me, yeah, the Quiex Classic Records, Holly Cole, Analog Productions has subsequently redone that. Ry Cooter, one of Coltrane's newest discovered albums. John Coltrane's Ballads, there's a killer audio file reissue of that coming up. Single disc version. There's the single disc version. This is actually really good, guys. This is all analog, and this is still in print. You can get this on the website for, I think, 25 bucks. All analog cut by Kevin Gray. Here is a mono version of it done by Rhino. This is actually a record I needed for my collection. I'm going to keep this. Curtis Counts, Rye Cooter, Chick Corea and Friends. Of course, I did a shootout video of this. This is a sealed copy of Dark Side of the Moon, 30th anniversary. Some classical Quiex, uh, classic records vinyl. I'm guessing these are the mediocre 75th anniversaries. 80s pressing. We got this. Blue Note, some reissues. Check condition, tested. Crappy 80s version. What is this? I'm guessing this might be the 90s pressing. Yeah. Night Trend, kind of the Sun Records comps. Kind of, let's see, old time radio show. This is a deluxe version of Bleach, Chronic Town, Moody Blues. ORG Nirvana Unplugged. Classic Records, Sonny Clark, Cool Strut. And this is great. This is from the Virgin Mac Record Store we had in town here before it closed. This is a steel copy, but look at this. You'd be able to go in a Virgin, and it was 35% off. That probably cost, oh, let's see, $33.99 minus 35% off. So what is that? A little less than 25 bucks. Hell of a deal. Not that long ago. Let's see if it has a date on there. It doesn't. But I'm going to guess that was probably 2005 to 2010 in that range. Some Music Matters stuff, 45 RPM. Some early Pure Pleasure titles. Fantastic record. It's kind of semi in print. This is cut by Kevin Gray. They did the Soddington tip on jacket. I get these in from time to time. They're the version on the website that's $25.99. They're out of stock right now, but this is. Sonny Rollins, probably best album, and probably the best album on the second best jazz label, jazz label of all time, Prestige. So best Sonny Rollins, best Prestige records, top record. I mean, this is this is solid. Crap, nobody cares about One of the worst Blue Note records. Let's see, Blue Note comp. Drive it five. Let's see, this is a test pressing of uh, Ralph Sutton from 94. Sun Ra Blue Delight. Some more fantastic Sun Ra. Let's see, this is the 
RTI press uh, OJCs. A lot of these are analog. A lot of those are actually quite good, that series. Sonny Rollins, The Bridge on Quiax. Sonny Rollins. Doesn't play anymore, but the man's still alive. I think he's probably 90 now. I mean, absolute legend. And I'll tell you, there's probably less than five of those guys from that time period that are still alive. And probably nobody to his caliber. Rico, a couple copies of this. Now, I'm not familiar with this album, but he told me it's fantastic. So I'm going to have to give that a listen. Some more Music Matters stuff. Early Music Matters, Sealed. Oh, the Spawn, Nina Simone, Speaker's Corner, I think this is. I'm guessing this is. More 45 RPM. Music Matters stuff. BC-13, Beatles box. Buffalo Springfield, this is a fantastic box set that was put out by Analog Productions. That's all cut from the original tape. Neil Young. Second box set, discs. Second, I think it's, yeah, box set number, no, it's a little later. What box set is this? This 8.5 through 12, so I think that's the third box set. Traveling Wilburys box set. Uh, Tom Waits box set. Copy of Nick Drake's Fruit Tree. Trisha Barber, Companion. This is actually another record that is on my want list. Don't have it. One of the harder mobile fidelity records to get. Cannonball Laterally, something else. It's funny. I actually didn't have this in my personal collection until one of the last videos I bought a collection. I got it, and I've got two. This is the 45 RPM all analog cut version by Bernie Grunman of Coltrane's Giant Steps. Lee Morgan, Music Matters. This is the 70 series Blue Notes that came out out of Japan. They're pretty sought after. Lee Morgan, Pacific Jazz. This is an analog version. Let's see, Master from the original analog tapes. I am not familiar with this version. I'll give it a listen. Multiple copies of Sidewinder, some Monk, OJCs, Nat King Cole, Blue Green Transformer, probably crap compared to that speaker's corner. Queen Night at the Opera, Pink uh, Purple Rain. I believe this is actually analog cut, the original RTI pressing. Elvis is back. Robert Plant. <laughs> I did an unboxing on this particular uh, REM. Bingo hand job. This is a official release by REM for a record store day. And yeah, I uh, did the video. Uh, YouTube didn't like the... Uh, didn't like the title of Bingo Ham Job, so it was flagged and it took like a week to get it pub published again. Big Star. A lot of Big Star in here. Complete Third. Upsetters box set. This is the back of that uh, Tom Waits box, Wilco box, Dylan box. Miles Davis, 40th Anniversary Bitches Brew. Billy Holiday, Ladies of Jazz. There's a John Lennon Wedding Box. Jack Kerouac. Kind of Blue, 50th Anniversary Box. This is a Doors Legacy Box by Rhino. Pretty crummy. Rolling Stones Box. These are pretty desirable. I think they were pressed by Telarc. Uh... Jimi Hendrix experience box. I got like nine of these things in the store. You know, you go online and they say they're worth X amount of money, but nobody ever buys them. This is actually a mostly still sealed, you know, started to bust copy of uh, Chet Baker's Chet from Acoustatech. Pretty much a full run of Neil Young stuff is in here. Louis Armstrong. Excitable boy. This is actually the only Who record from the classic series I was missing. I had one come in the store a while back, but it was noisy. So I'm going to give this a listen to. Some Neil Young original pressings, some Mingus. There's a Legacy. This is probably pretty crummy sounding. 
Mingus a hum. A lot of Mingus, a lot of Mingus. Pure pleasure. Another pure pleasure. East Coasting. Mingus plays piano. There's a killer version of this, Mingus, 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 by Analog Productions. That just came back in print. This sucker was like $200 for maybe three years, then finally they decided to make some more of them. Back down to $49.99, I think 49 or 50 bucks, 55 maybe. Blind Willie Mattel. Let's see some Count Basie. A little bit of blues in here in this collection. Monk Coltrane, Carnegie Hall, I think this is the, uh, 70s, early 80s, Blue Note. Monk with John Coltrane. So more music matters. Clifford Brown, another one from my collection. I don't have a lot of these acoustic texts. You know, this was kind of like the beginning of the 45 RPM movement, and I kind of wasn't on board then. So I didn't buy a lot of these. So unfortunately, I'm having to get, you know, pounded in the pocket trying to go back and purchase these things when they're two, $300 a record. Ray Charles. Now, I'm not actually familiar with this audio file. This is, you know, kind of, I've not heard this. So, some more pure pleasure. Billy Holiday. Classic Records, looks like Classic Records, Billy Holiday. Genius Sings the Blues, Mofi, some more Music Matters. This is the Quiex Classic Records version of uh, Buena Vista Social Club. Some more Music Matters. Some more Music Matters. Music Matters just redid this as an SRX. Curtis Fuller, Music Matters. Classic Records, Ella Fitzgerald. Classic Records, Kind of Blue, really good. Classic Records, Sketches of Spain. Check this out. I have to do a little more research on this. This is Bill Evans, Waltz for Debbie Test Pressing. It's dated 1992, so... The analog Productions. Very cool. Portrait and Jazz, another one of those Acoustatech pressing for early 45 RPMs that I don't have in my collection. Some more early Pure Pleasure. This is the classic records version of Money Jungle. I think on Discogs it shows this is a $100, $125 record. But if you look, this thing doesn't sell anymore. The tone poet of this is absolutely amazing. It's $35, bucks, and that's probably what everybody buys now so you'll you look at this collection you could really see that a lot of records just get recycled they just do them over and over and over again and you got to be careful a record that's a hundred dollars today could be fifty dollars tomorrow once they repress it at a you know they make a better sounding version more music matter stuff 45 rpm out to lunch love willis jackson this is an ojc from the 80s there is, and I'll kind of grab this. There were some 10 inch singles, some, you know, some record store day stuff. Lee Townsend, you know, this stuff is, man. The record store day sevens and 10 inches are, they're either really good. This is the only, they're either really good or they're, you know, nobody wants them. Led Zeppelin, classic records, BBC box. This is the only classic records Led Zeppelin piece I was missing. Uh, I have the road case. I have all the individuals. I just didn't have the BBC box. Here's another record that I have not had in my collection that I am happy to add to it. This is an extremely hard DCC to get. Maybe the hardest DCC, Queen's Night at the Opera. I've got the Mobile Fidelity, which is really hard. I've got pressings up the wazoo with this. I might look into doing a video on this, but this DCC is extremely hard. I'm guessing this was, uh, yeah, some analog master tape cut Warren Zevon stuff. Same thing goes for the ZZ Top. Great sounding ZZ Top record. This is a Joe's Garage. Now, this is the version that comes on red, white, and blue vinyl. Lonnie Johnson. Mississippi John Hurt. Some John Lee Hooker. The Healer. Let's see. John Lee Hooker alone. Little run of some nice Neil Young stuff. He had a lot of the new marrow 
again, it's a label I've mentioned on the channel for I'm a fan of Numero. It's a lot of obscure soul, roots type music. Fred McDowell on Air Hooli. This came from Zia. This is, uh, actually, yeah, look at that. This came to uh, the original owner of Zia, which is a record store here in town, passed away in 2016. I remember they were giving these out, uh, you know, kind of in his honor, but he subsequently sold Zia from what I heard to some accountants, so he hadn't owned it at the time, but one of the, uh, you know, kind of, kind of like a chain record store here in Phoenix, you know, my store's significantly better, let's be honest, but, uh, you know, just one man's opinion. <laughs> All right, so Mingus. This is manufactured by Rhino by Scorpio. Mingus. It's an original promo copy. Joe Melee. I think he might have a couple of albums on Blue Note. Maybe just this one. He doesn't have many Blue Note albums. Gil Melee, the uh, composer of the Andromeda Strain soundtrack. Jackie McLean, Eric Dolphy, OJC. Fred McDowell on Gold Vinyl. Comes from another record store here in town. What's crazy is this guy had been buying records for years in the Valley. And in the six years I'm open, the store that specializes in these audiophile records and has the biggest vinyl selection in Arizona, never came into the store. <laughs> never seen them before. What's up with that? But I did buy all those records, which is cool. All the records he had left. He said he downsized some time ago. Kind of some some blues comps. Let's see, not the same old blues crap. Volume three. Hank Mobley, Roll Call, Classic Records. Memphis Slim, Pure Pleasure. It's a lot of Mingus, more Mingus. You can never get enough Mingus. This is uh, one of the records I just recently recommended on the top 10 records to get you into jazz. One of my favorite records. Somebody left a comment on the video, and I meant to respond to it and tell him, yeah, I'm going to steal that. But, uh, you know, he put down, uh, what was the comment? It was something along the lines of, you know, Miles Davis is jacked, you know, a rock record with a trumpet versus a jazz record with a guitar and that's probably the, a very true statement some connoisseur series legacy bitches brew this looks like a yeah, original six eye sketches of spain another classic i don't have in my collection birth of the cool i heard they butcher the newest version of it so i'll be looking forward to getting listening to that this is a 70s pressing, actually, of uh, that. Mono kind of blue. Speaker's Corner, Clifford Brown. Some more Music Matters. Music Matters. Different version of Buena Vista Social Club. This is a... You know, the Buena Vista Social Club, they've done the... Uh, their main album a few times, and they're all really good. They're all done from analog, even the version you can get nowadays done analog they've redone analog productions redid this freddie hubbard ray charles i think speaker's corner or actually who is it this is pure pleasure i think pure pleasure still has that in print some more numero comps james taylor t-rex mobile fidelity has a version of this coming up pretty soon some Simply Vinyl, Peter Tosh. Some Classic Records, Pete Townsend. Speakers uh, Corner, Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. Absolutely amazing sounding record. Hard to find. Preservation. two-sided disc. It's got some unreleased Tom Waits stuff on it, and that was kind of the reason for him owning it, I believe. 
Some more Numero stuff. Big blue ball. Classic Records Who stuff. Really good if you're a Who fan. Classic Records Neil Young. They had a version that was just part of the regular Neil Young catalog. Now I don't. I think it's out of print. I haven't had it in a year or two in the store, but killer. The classic records are killer. Pretty much everything Neil Young has in print is good. The Neil Young Harvest that I've talked about multiple on times on video. That's just a used copy, and then just pretty much a run of the Neil Young is kind of mixed throughout here. Some more Mingus. Some Third Man record stuff. More blues comp, some Connor Sewer, kind of sewer series stuff. Limited edition from the original session masters. More music matters stuff. Mingus, more Mingus. Scorpio release. Peggy Lee, Fred McDowell. E. Some big star, Beatles Love, original, Mono Masters, MFSL, White Album. This is actually, I think this is the French version that came out in the 70s on white vinyl of the White Album. It's got some different international type pressings. Full run of the mono stuff, I think. You know, mono Sgt. Pepper, mono Rubber Soul. What is that? Looks like a U.S. pressing of Abbey Road, a little later pressing. Mono Sgt. Pepper original pressing. This looks like a 70s repressing of Beatles for Sale. The new Mono White Album. That's an original. Ryan Adams, Greg Allman, David Alvin. Sid Barrett, Record Store Day. The exclusive. Some bad company. Did a video on this. Some pet sounds. Let's see. All right. Let's keep moving. Pure pleasure. Lightning Hopkins. Black Satan, the Sinner Lady. Analog Productions did this as well. It's going for maybe 250 bucks on that 45 RPM. And then all of a sudden, one day I got an email. Boom, back in print, you can get it for $49.99 now. Sometimes they do it like that. I hate to be the guy who paid $200 for it, but if you're the guy who was about to pay $200 for it and got it for $49.99, you're pretty lucky. You don't sleep on that kind of stuff, though, because it just goes up. Goes out of print, goes for a ton of money. Let's see, Neil Young, original receipt in there. Bought in 2009. Some more Neil Young. Ooh, some more classic records. Fantastic classic records. Who's next? Who by the numbers? Some more Numero comps. Some Neil Young. Some more Tom Waits. Classic records, my generation. Absolutely fantastic. Roger Waters amused to death. Some more Tom Waits. Eric Clapton's last album. This was actually done, recorded, mastered the whole nine yards, 100% analog on a 16 inch or 16 track, two, two inch uh, analog reel to reel. See some of the Rhino analog stuff, some of the Alice Cooper. Some of this is more the newer Alice Cooper, and then some of it, the earlier Rhino stuff, was actually done from the original master tape. I don't think these gold versions and these colored ones were. This is a killer album uh, done from the original master tape. Billion Dollar Babies, Black Sabbath, this is, yeah, like this Rhino, this came out last year. So he was buying records somewhat recently, but he said he slowed down big time after the last couple of years. Original Let It Be Naked, Japanese Yellow Submarine, some more Big Star, Classic Records Big Star, 
classic records big star there's actually this is all analog there's actually a analog tip on jacket full-blown audio file version of this in, in print again came out a few months back the deluxe i think this is the deluxe no, this is just the 30 what, 50th anniversary single disc all right guys full run of classic records led zeppelin kind of a mix of the standard weight and the 200 gram stuff yeah Zeppelin 1, Houses 4, Led Zeppelin 2, Led Zeppelin 3, one of the best ones probably in the series. Physical Graffiti. Oh, what is this? Crappy Jimmy Page remasters. Ooh. Presents. In Through the Outdoor. The BBC box that I showed you earlier, but I'm keeping. Band on the Run, Steve Wilson Remix, Jethro Tull's Aqualong, Ricky Lee Jones, Kinks, Village Green Preservation Society, some analog, Master Tape, Grateful Dead, not a fan personally. Ooh, look at that, 45 RPM Fleetwood Mac Rumors, just did a video on that. That's nice. Look at that. That is an album that really needs to be in print. Nice original Jane's Addiction. Nothing shocking. And Ritual to Ritual. This is a series from the 90s that MCI, MCA did. Actually, this is still sealed. They did about 10 records. They did the Who's Next. They did this Buddy Holly title. There's an Analog Productions version of this that's in print that's better and cost less. Some Jimi Hendrix, John Lennon. This is a, uh, well, one of these, yeah, this is the Led Zeppelin. This is a Ludwig. It's not in the best shape, of course, but it's a Ludwig. This, I think, is a German Ludwig, if I remember correctly. I have to look at that again. A German half a Ludwig. Crosby Stills. This is actually one of the real desirable classic records. Yeah. $39.95. I think it's 200 bucks now, last I looked. Yeah. He actually has one jacket, but two records. He said it was defective when he got it. He called the manufacturer. They sent him a replacement. Some Dylan. Some analog faces, alternate tusk. One of my absolute favorite albums. This is the Four Men with Beards version, which is not any good, but great album. Peter Gabriel, Melt Classic Records. Oh, one Japanese record. Let's see. Earl, George Harrison, some. These, all these Jimi Hendrix guys are cheap. They're 18, 19, 20 bucks now. They're all analog and they're in print. Definitely bargain. And last but not least is the Miles Davis Quintet box. This is the 45 RPM version. It is unfortunate because the seams are all blown out. But essentially what this was was the 45 RPM records they did. They did this box on 33 RPM in the 90s, and then they went back and redid it, I think 2008. And in 2008, essentially they put the 45 RPM versions into what I believe were some leftover boxes that they maybe had lying around for 10 years. I don't know. But yeah, it's the five prestige Miles Davis titles on double disc 45 RPM. But he said this is the second box he had to where he essentially just shut the box one day and it exploded at the seam, which seems really reasonable because that is the absolute thinnest, crappiest paper. And I can see how that would just disintegrate. But yeah, this, uh, this goes for some money. I mean, there's five records in there and every one of those records in there are hundred plus dollars. All right, guys, I'm Mike. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.